Good morning, everyone. This is Bremster, and this is my, I think it's 14th or something, gas video. Um, I wish to start this one with some solver shoutouts. There haven't been any for the last two, but some new ones were posted in the middle of me recording the last one, and I put them aside so I could give them out. First of all, to Mini, who got their first single hat. Um, then it was... Uh, uh, Atropashirs, who got their 100th double hat. Then Old Git, who got their first single hat. Uh, Hadrisco, who got their first single hat. Justin Dwyer, who got their first single hat. Um, Der H, who got their first double hat. SJ, who got their first double hat. David T, who got their first double hat. And Non Factor, who got their first double hat. That's all awesome. I think it's great that people are sharing these huge milestones. Like if you are improving to the point where you are starting to um, get into those zones, I think it's great. Um, personally, I, I'm not pressured by time. I mean, I feel pressured by the time. But if someone is enjoying the puzzles and it takes you an hour to solve a puzzle that takes other people three minutes, but you had fun for that hour, I think you win. But if you're enjoying what you're doing, that's great. And the shout outs are great. If you feel that that's something to celebrate, absolutely fantastic. I feel it's something to celebrate as well. Absolutely wonderful. Congratulations to all of you. Now onto the puzzle for the 4th of February, 2024, which is called Minus 40 Degrees by Philip Newman. Um, and this is the message that came with it. Pro tip, washing your hands is effective in preventing illness only if you do not have a five-year-old coughing in your face. Well, if the five-year-old is healthy and your hands were really grimy, then it'd still be effective. Like, it's better than giving what you've got on your hands to the five-year-old who's then going to get it and cough it back at you. Just saying. Um, today's guess is a thermoclone Sudoku. Goes into the rules. If you get a dinosaur today, you get a clonking Colossosauria. So, um, this is the sort of puzzle... I've seen this before, and a lot of people do colouring on these puzzles, and when I get to that level of colouring... I get a migraine and I'm already underslept. So this one is going to be very slow for me. Just a warning. So there'll be, there's always timestamps where you can jump to the next puzzle if you want to jump to the next puzzle. Because this one is going to take me, I think, quite a long time. So, um, so the rules. So normal Sudoku rules apply. So in every box, in every row, and in every column, the digits 1 to 9 must be placed without repetition. Thermos. Along these thermos, the digits um, must increase as you move from the bulb along to the tip. Um, so they cannot stay the same. They cannot go down. And then we've got these clone cages. And what it means is in the same shape, uh, cages of the same shape and letter are clones and must contain the same digits in the same relative position. Digits may repeat within a cage if allowed by other rules. So that digit and that digit could be the same, but we do know that that digit and that digit are the same. Now, one thing about these is quite often because of thermo chains, people would say, well, that digit and that digit have to be the same. So we know that, you know, for example, this digit, it, there's all sorts of things that get forced on thermos as different digits on different thermos get forced up. So for example, we know this digit is higher than all of these, but it's lower than all of these. So there's weird thermo chains going on. Sometimes people do this with coloring. I'm not going to. I'm just going to restart the puzzle to restart my timer. Let's give this a shot. So marking these long thermos. This has a maximum of nine, maximum of eight, maximum seven, maximum six, maximum five, maximum four. So one, two, three, four, two, three, four, five, three, four, five, six, four, five, six, seven, six, seven, eight, five, six, seven, eight, and six, seven, eight, nine. But this cell is this cell. So this had to be one, two, three, four, and it's four cells along a thermo. So this is four, three, two, and one, which means this is a two. And this being a four means this is four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine, which means this is five and six. Uh, this is eight. Right, now, four, five, six, twos and eights are duplicated. That's all good. Now, where do I want to look now? This is a maximum nine. This is maximum seven. This is maximum six. This is maximum five. This is maximum four. So one, three, four. Can't be two, so three or five. 
So this has to be four, five, or six. Five can't be six or seven. And this is six, seven, or nine. So this is five or seven. So this is five or seven, and it can't be five. That's seven, so this is seven. This is nine, so this is nine. So this is three or five, and it can't be five. So this is three, this is three, which means this is one. This is still four, five, or six, as far as I can tell. Now, not sure where to look next. I mean, this is higher than three. Woohoo! So is it... This can't be nine, maximum eight. Can't be... So this is maximum seven. This can't be six. So this is maximum five. So it's one, two. Can't be three. One, two, or five. This could be two. Can't be three. Four. Five. So this has to be uh, three, four, can't be five, six, seven. So this is three, four, eight. So this is three, four, or eight. And it can't be eight. So this can't be eight. So this can't be, well, this has to be lower than three or four. So this is two and one. Okay. And this is three or four because of that. Okay. So this is maximum nine, this is maximum eight, this is maximum seven. Ugh. So this can't be one, it could be two, can't be three, four, five. So this is two, six, seven, so this is two, well this can't be two because of that. So this is six or seven, so this can't be two, so this is six or seven, so this is seven or eight, and this is eight or nine. This can't be seven. So this is eight. This is nine. Uh, eight is in one of those two because these eights are forcing it into there, but eight is not less than seven. Three is up here. Seven is down here. And seven could be there. One and two are in those. One is in one of those. Oh, one is just there. So one is in one of those two. So what is this? Can't be one, two, could be three. Can't be four, five, could be six. Can't be seven, eight, or nine. So this is three or six. It can't be six. This is three. This is three. What are these? One, two, three, four, five, six, or seven. Can't be six. Those are seven. So these are six. The three looks up making those four. And now I've done the clones. I haven't done all the thermos, but this is kind of done. This is one, two, three, or six. Because it has to be lower than seven and it's not four or five. This is four, seven, eight, or nine. Great. Woohoo. So one is in one of those two. This is a one, nine pair, isn't it? Can't put one or nine in any of those. That's a one, nine pair. This is nine, this is one. These are four, five, and six. There's no six there, there's no four there. So what are these? Three and seven, and the seven makes that the three and that the seven. These, one, two, three, four, five, and eight. So this is the five and this is the eight, which takes eight out of there. Puts eight in one of those two, actually, which puts eight in one of those two. Can I repeat that? Nine is in one of those two. This is a seven nine pair. What's this triple? One, two, three, four, six, eight. There's no eight there, there's no six there. 
There's no four there. One in this column is here, one. So these are two, five, six. Actually, there's no three up here anymore. These are two, five, and six. There's no six in them. No, no six in them. <laughs> this is the six. These are two and five. So these are one, two, three, four, eight, and nine. There's no, f well, there's no nine in those. So this is eight, four, nine. The four makes this five and this four. The eight means that's not the eight. That's the eight. That's the seven. Oh, wait. No, no, no. Remove the seven from there. This is the eight. See, I'm not cleaning up my pencil marks. This is a problem. One, two, five, and six. There's no five in those. This is the five. This six makes this the two and this the six. Okay. This, tr no, this digit. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. This triple now. One, two, four, six. There's no six there. There's no four there. This is known. Two, three, four, five, six. This is a two. So this is a five and this is a two. There's no two there. Four is in one of those two. One, two, three, and six. Now this is one, three, six. This has got two, three, six. This is the one. So there's no one here. This is two or three. Five, seven, and nine. So this is five. This is seven or nine. This is two, three, four, six. So this is two, three, or four. One, three, eight. So this is one, three, one, three, eight. This is eight. So this is a 1-3 pair at the top. So this is a 1-3-6 triple. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. These are 7 and 8. So that's 4, that's 6. So this is 8. So this is 1-3-6. So this is 1 or 3. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 5 and 9 go in there. So 5, 9... So this is seven or eight. So this is seven. This is eight. This is seven. Let's take seven out of those. This is two, four, nine. So nine, four, two. Taking two out of those. So six, four. This is a two, three pair. But the seven and nine is resolved. This is a two, which means this is the three and this is the two. So this is the one. And the three looks like making that the six, that the three, which looks across making that the one and that the three. 10 minutes and eight seconds. So way outside the two hat time. What a surprise. I actually turned my timer off and I wish it wouldn't show me the time at the end if I did that. I would really prefer not to know my times but there is no way in the tool to actually have it not show a time at the end. Which is really unfortunate. I would prefer the pop-up message at the end to not include a time. Um, yeah, that, that would be my preference. I would prefer to have it not shown. I, it just increases my stress level. I would really like... Um, to, to just not have it. I, I don't know if it means I should just load my puzzle so all of my times are like four hours and not restart. So I'll be fighting habit for that. I don't mind restarting the puzzle to refresh the case and everything. And I really do find that interesting because sometimes there's stuff caught in the in the background of the system because I load the puzzles early to, to set up the video and all of that um, and, and get all of that working. But I'd really love it if there was a way of not just hiding the timer, but disabling the timer. 
yeah, that, that, that's something I desperately want. Okay, see you for tomorrow's puzzle. And now the puzzle for the 5th of February, 2024, called 159 by Clover. This is the message that came with it. Today's guest depicts two vertically oriented snakes to celebrate something I learned last week that's been living rent-free in my head ever since. Snakes can have up to 400 vertebrae in pair and pairs of ribs. And it's not like they grow more as they get longer. So even the tiniest baby snake might have 30 times more ribs than you do. Let's take a moment to appreciate those ruby little fellas today. Uh, this is 159 Sudoku, then there's the rules, um, and if you get a dinosaur today, you get a xylophonic zoolong. Okay, great. Now, um, one of the things I want to say before I get onto the rules of the puzzle is I'm trying to see whether it helps my solving experience if I do this without the timer. I have completely disabled the timer. There won't even be a timer pop up at the end. So I'm going to see if this helps me. So how are the rules of this? Well, it's normal Sudoku rules. And then the digits in the first column tell you where one appears in that row. So for instance, if three appears in the first column, then the one in that row would be in the third column. Um, so yeah, that's basically so a three uh, it's really hard on a grid with all the d digits in it, but a three in here would indicate that um, you would count three along and put the one there. A, a four would mean you would count four along and put the one there. The same is true for five um, in column five. So a five here or a, a three here would mean you would count three along from the start and put the five there. So column one, column two, column three, a three here means five goes in column three. The same is true in column nine for the digit nine. So if there was a three here, then this would be the nine. They're the rules of the puzzle. I'm going to written. This is ba a basic form of indexing. I think it's called row indexing, even though we're working in the columns because we're indexing the position of the digit in the row. I'm going to restart the puzzle to restart my timer. Let's give this a shot. So we know that the one is in column three. We know the one is in column four. We know the one is in column seven. Um, we know the nine is in column three. We know the nine is in column seven. We know the nine is in column six. In here, the nine has to be in one of these two because of the nine that's in here. So the nine is in one or two and it can't be in one. So the nine is in column two. This becomes the nine. Uh, the five is in column six. Okay, so now there is a trick and I don't have a timer running. So I'm, I'm going to slow down and explain it. There is a trick you can use with these puzzles, which is we know, for example, that this, the one here, and I'm, I'm going to explain it using, it would be very obvious here by the fact that one has to be in one of these two cells. But this is true even if you don't have any obvious digits to provide that information. So it would be true here where I don't have any ones. If I was to put a one somewhere in here, or if uh, there is a one somewhere in this box and wherever the one in this box is, it's going to be referenced by either a one, a two or a three in this column. There is going to be a one somewhere in this box and wherever the one goes here, it's going to be a referenced by a four, a five or a six in this column. And there's going to be a one somewhere in this box and wherever it goes, it's going to be referenced by a seven, eight or nine in this column. So each of this, this band here, and the same is true of each of these bands within the box these little vertical bands of three, is going to be fully entropic. There will be a low digit, a middle digit, and a high digit. And because of that, you will be able to use entropy. Like here, I've got a low digit and a middle digit. This has to be a high digit. It can't be seven or nine, so this must be the eight, so this must be the one. And I can see now this one looked up and forced that anyway. But you could have used entropy with the seven, nine here to resolve that. I've got a triple here which is uh, on two, four, five. Now this can't be the two, of course, and it can't be a four because that would put a five there, which doesn't exist. So this is the five and I can take five out of those. The two makes that the four and that the two. I've got a triple here, five, six, and seven. Uh, there's no six there. Okay, great. Now, um, I've got all the nines down here. Nine is in one of these three which of course one means one of in one of these three. Now I could have got that by Sudoku, but eh, there must be a low digit in one of those. 
if it's here, it's one, and you can't, if I put a one here, there'd be a five here, that'd be fine. Okay. I'm, I'm slowing down because that's kind of what I wanted to do with these. These are three, four, and nine. There's no three up here. So this is the three, which makes this the five, which means this isn't the five. This is a four, nine pair. So this can't be a four, because if this is a four, that would be the five. Remember, I've got the entropy going on. So this is the nine, this is the four. The nine puts the five there. This isn't the five anymore. This is a six, seven pair. Now, in here, the um, I've got, still got an entropy issue going on. So I've got low, I've got mid. This has to be high and it can't be seven. So this is eight or nine, which means nine is in one of those two only. Again, I could have got that by the column looking up, but it it's a way of doing it. And if you're solving 159 puzzles, having that trick in your toolbox is going to be incredibly valuable. Now, this column, uh, this row is just missing six seven eight nine and eight nine is looking up so this is six seven and this is eight nine so this is six seven which i could have got from the row as well and this column is five six seven that can't be five or six so that's seven that's six that's seven that's six that's seven this is five which means this is seven these are three four and eight there's no three there, there's no eight there. But the three, four, eight looks up making this nine, which makes this eight for multiple reasons. These are one is the low digit. The middle digit is four and the high digit is nine. The nine will be self-indexing. I can't put four there because I can't put nine there. So the nine is in one of those two. In fact, this is just a three, nine pair. And the three tells me that's the nine and that's the three, which of course means that this isn't nine, but it means it is four. So I just use that. So now the, um, this isn't the nine. The nine is in one of those two. Um, I need to put a low digit in here, which must be a one because the two and the three are not available. And with the one here, the five is in one of those two. I have to put a high digit in here, which is a seven or an eight. Well, it can't be a seven because I can't put a five in either of those. So this is a one eight pair. And the five is in one of those two. Okay, so one, two, three, four, and seven go into those, and the four makes that the seven and that the four. This triple probably. One, two, well, I can't put one and two on this, but it's one, two, four. So four must be in one. Oh, I had that there for ages. That's been there since the start. So that was dumb. <laughs> so the one looks across making this the two, which makes this the one. The two, of course, means this is the five, which again was available. As soon as I put five in here, this five looked down, this one looked across, and this was forced to be the five, but that's okay. This is the three, four, I believe, um, which I'm not seeing how to resolve. Um, now I need to put a low and a middle into these. If this is a low, this can't be the low because if this is the low, it would be three and I can't put one there. So this is the middle digit and it's not four or, oh, I've got the one. That's the six. <laughs> so this is the low digit and it's not two or three. So it's the one, which is self-indexing. These are... The low digit is two, the middle digit is five, the high digit is nine. This is not five. So the the one is either here or here. So it's okay, two, five, nine. Well, it can't be a nine because I can't put a one there. And two, five, nine. Yeah, I'm not sure about that one. I'm sure there's a trick I could use because that's how these puzzles work. These are three, four, and eight. Well, I can't put eight in either of those. So this is a three, four pair. This is the eight. The four and the eight makes this three, this four, this eight. The four looks across making this three and this four. This column, four, five, is missing a seven. These are one, three, four. There's a three, four there. So this is the one. And that one means this is the two by indexing, which means this is the nine and this is the five. The nine means this is the one and this is the nine. The five means this is the one, this is the eight, which means this is the five. Um, the four means this is the three, this is the four. And now I've just got these final two digits. I need to put in a two and a six 
and I have completed the puzzle. I'm number 1869 in 5.4 days. Cool puzzle. Now, if you are running timers yourself, and most of you will be, you needed to finish that in six minutes and 30 seconds in order to get two hats. Um, I have no idea. And to be perfectly honest, it's a lot less stressful not knowing. So that's really cool. Um, very cool puzzle. Teaches the um, the row indexing. I think it's row indexing. I always get that wrong because you're indexing along the row. I'm pretty certain it's row indexing. Teaches that really beautifully. Um, yeah. Thank you very much for the puzzle, Clover. And uh, yeah, as uh, why am I signing off? See you for tomorrow's puzzle. And now the puzzle for the 6th of February, 2024, called Twice by Bill Murphy. Um, this is the message that comes with it. Um, the first things were bullet points and they don't copy into my screen reader from Discord correctly. So if mediums could communicate with the dead, imagine what a large could do. Hey, welcome to my unboxing video. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, Schrodinger. While we're on that topic, welcome to my gas video. Please remember to like, comment, and subscribe. Um, I'm 32. Surely I would have got my adult supervision by now. Don't talk to me about vision. My vision is terrible. How acidic is a PhD? Actually, I've been hanging out with a lot of people with PhDs recently. They're very acidic. Anyway, um, the rest is rules. Um, and uh, so, uh, ba, ba, ba. it's a double arrow Sudoku. Um, ba, ba, ba. So if you get a dinosaur today, you get a disconnected dino Deanonicus. Deanonicus. I, I will settle for Deanonicus. Okay, so um, what are double arrows? So the digits along an arrow... The sum of those is the same as the sum of the digits in the circles at the end of the line. So the sum of those is the, um, the sum of those. The sum of those is the sum of those. The sum of those is the sum of those. Um, that's how double arrows work. I recently released a double arrow puzzle on Logic Masters Germany called Modern Art Monsterpiece. It's rated okay. It's very. It's a very weird Bremster puzzle. But I'm not telling you to solve my puzzles. I'm telling you to look at this one. I'm going to restart the puzzle. Why? Oh, I'm going to restart the puzzle, but there should be no timer because I have disabled the timer function. Let's give this a shot. So um, these sum to 14. So this has to sum to 14. It could be 9, 5 in either order. Can't be 8, 6. It can't be 7, 7. This is just 9, 9, uh, nine 5. So this now has to sum to 6. I can't use 1, 5. I could use 2, 4 can't put two here so if it's two four it's two and four i could use three three no i can't use three three it's in the same box this is two and four um so these are one three and seven and there's no three there okay now do i want to keep going down or start at the bottom and work up these sum to six so they're either one five, they can't be two four. They could be one five. I can't put the five there. So this would be one, this would be five. Can't use two four because I can't put two in either of them. They could be three three, but I can't put three in either of them. So this is one, this is five. There is no one here. Um, now these sum to seven. Okay, so with those summing to seven, I could do one, six. I could do, I can't do no, I can do two, five. I can do two there and five there. Three, four. I can't put three in that cell because of there or that cell because of there. So it can't be three, four. This is 14. Now, there's only two ways to make 14 in digit two digits that see each other, which is nine, five, and eight, six. I can't put nine there. So this would be the nine and this would be the five. Or eight, six would be eight here. No, eight here. What did I just do? Eight here with six here, right? Do I keep going down? These sum to 12. Now they don't see each other. Now I could use nine there with, no, I can't use nine there or there. So it's not nine, three. If it's eight, four, the eight is there and the four is there because I can't put eight here. If it's seven, five, I can't put seven there or there. And if it's six, six, it could just be double six. Okay, what about this line? This sums to 12. It can't be 9, 3. 
if it's 8-4, well, it could be 8-4, 7-5, um, well, I can't put 7 there or there, and then I hit 6-6, six, six. this is 4-8, that's interesting, and this is 11, and 11, I can't use 9-2, if it's 8-3, it would be 8 there with 3 there, that doesn't work, So because you know, I'd have to put the 8 here, and then I'd have to put the 3 here, which I can't do, so it's not 8-3, 7-4, this would be the 7, this would be, oh, I can't do 7-4, because there's a 4-8 in the box, so if it's not 7-4, this is 5-6, and these are 1, 3, and 7 again, there's no 7 there, there's no 3 there, Okay, is there some Sudoku I can do? Well, seven's not in any of those. So seven's in one of those two. Four, four, four is in one of those two. Three is in, no, three is right there. So that is seven. I needed to confirm that I didn't double up here. I don't think I've got three yet. Four, five, eight. The other digits are all on here. So three is in one of those two. So three is in one of those two. Seven is in one of those two. If I got this completely and utterly, oh, this five makes this, oh, makes this one. And these, so this is six, which means this is nine, which goes with five to make 14. That puts five down here, which puts five up here because five isn't in those or those. So five is in one of those two. What's this triple? One, two, four, eight. Well, that's just an eight. This is a two, four. So the eight makes that a six. These sum to 12. So this is a six. This is a triple. One, seven, nine. There's no seven there. This is a triple. One, two, three, four, five, six, eight, and nine. There's no six in either of those, so that's a six. The eight, nine makes that the one, taking one out of those, that's a seven, nine. So these are one and eight. And these are two and five. And the two here makes this the five and this the two, which makes that the six, which makes that the five. which means that's not the five, that's the five. So what's this triple? Two, four, nine. Well, there's no two or four there, that's the nine. Hmm. I'm assuming this is a scanning file. Three, four, six, and eight go into this column. Well, there's no three up here. This eight is in, ah, this is just an eight because I can't put eight in either of those two or there. So this is an eight. These become three, four, and six. But there's no six here. So this is a three, four pair, making that the two, but it makes that the six. The three, four pair means this is a one, which means this is a seven, and there's no seven here. Three, four pair. These are one, two, three, four, and seven, and this four makes this the seven and this the four. That looks back saying seven is not there. Wow, this is still, oh, this nine makes this five and this nine. The nine looks down making that seven and that nine. That's still not interacting. Oh, this eight, of course, made this one and this eight. 
still not enough, is it? I am still not solving this. One, two, three, four, five, six. Three, six, seven, and nine go down here. So three, six, seven, and nine. There's no nine in any of those, and there's no nine there. This is the nine. Three, six, seven. There is a six, seven here. This is the three. So three comes out of both of those. That's the seven. That's the six. The seven, of course, makes this the one and this the three. The six doesn't look across and do anything yet. The three doesn't look across and do anything. Now, I've got triples up here. I might use those. So one, two, five, and seven. There's a two, seven looking up. So this becomes the five. The two looks up making that the seven and that the two. That's not doing much. One, six, and eight. There's a one there. There's a six there. There's a six in each of those. So this is the six. This is a one, eight pair. Not sure. Three, four, nine. There's no three there. There's no four there. There's no nine there. Okay, that's not it. What's this triple? Two, four, seven. Well, there's no two in either of those, but it means that this, uh, this five means that this isn't the five, this is the five. This is the two. This is four and seven, and the seven means that's the four and that's the seven. The four looks back meaning that's the three and that's the four, which looks across meaning that's the one and that's the three. The four looks across making that the eight and that the four, finally resolving that. That's the nine, that's the eight, which means that's the four, that's the three, that's the nine. The eight looks up making that the one and that the eight. The two here makes that the four and that the two. I need to put a one in this box and this becomes the eight, and that does finish the puzzle. Solve count 828. Eight. Again, no time. People who are desperate to determine how bad I am can figure it out from the video because I enjoyed the puzzle a lot less when it's like not like I am chasing a time. Now, the two hat time on that was seven minutes and 30 seconds. Did I beat that? I have no idea. I really do not know. Um, even looking at my video time doesn't help me because I did an intro. <laughs> so, um, and I normally have the video record for like 40 seconds before I even start speaking because I'm setting everything up. That, I don't know. I really don't know. Um, thanks everyone for watching. Why am I signing off? There's going to be more videos. I've been recording like a week and a half worth of um, videos for the main channel. And, um, and because of that, I, I literally just did a few, a uh, whole bunch. And it's like, yeah. I'm in that mindset. I'll see you tomorrow. Another puzzle for the 7th of February, 2024, called Thor's Anvil by Philip Newman. This is the message that came with it. A bit of theory behind today's puzzle. In this one, you'll only have to place the digits from 1 to 6 and can ignore the grey cells entirely. You might ask, could I fill the digits 7 to 9 in the grey cells to make a valid Sudoku solution, Philip? Please teach me the ways of the Sudo cult. You might also not care, but the answer is no. You cannot fill the grey cells with only three digits. This pattern is an example of a graph which is not three colorable. If you were to try to color the grey cells such that the cells of the same color cannot see each other, you would need at least four distinct colors to do it. There is a technique which makes use of this fact to crack otherwise very difficult classic puzzles, which we sometimes call Thor's Hammer. The official name is Trivalue Otagon, which is sometimes shortened to Tridagon. You you definitely don't need to know about this to solve the actual puzzle, but if you've ever come across the term, now you know a little about it. There are actually four overlapping tri-value autogons in the grey cells here. If you look at just the boxes 1, 2, 4, 5, you might see why this pattern of 12 cells is got the nickname Thor's Hammer. You might also still not care. It's an extra space Sudoku. If you get a dinosaur today, you get a knavish kibashia. Okay, so the puzzle has warnings saying that normal Sudoku rules do not apply, and it's an extra space Sudoku. Place the digits in each unshaded cell um, that... Place a digit in each unshaded cell such that each row, column, and outlined region contains each digit from one to six exactly once. Okay, so what do we have? So one, see, so one is in one of these two. 
because these are the on, this is the only box that sees multiple ones. Can I do anything else? One is in one of these two. So one can't be, because this one sees all but those two cells, one can't be there or there, but one can't be there. So one is in one of these two. This isn't the one, this is the one. Um, okay, two is in one of these two because all of these are seen by twos. That puts two, I'm not sure, because this is the only box that sees multiple twos. Um, is there any other overlapping with twos? Not clearly. Okay, three. Three is boxes that overlap with, three is in one of those, so three is in one of those. Uh, three down here, no. Three over here, no. Okay, four. Four is in one of those two, because the four is looking in, which means in this box, four is in one of those two. Any other overlaps that narrow it down to pointing or anything? I'm just looking at boxes where digit, because we've only got, like one or two of each digit. So I'm trying to figure out where the overlaps or restrictions are that might actually give me something. I'm not seeing anything with four there. I'm trying to see if four, four is in one of those two. That's not great. Four, it's three in this box. It's three in this box. Okay, fives. So five... In this box is in one of those two, so it's in this box, it's in one of those two. Down here, no, it's still three. Up here, it's four. Uh, up here, no. Five is in one of those two, which takes five out of there, making this a five, which means this is a five, which means five is in one of those three. Five is in one of those three. Five it runs me out of five options. This is now a triple, which is one, four. This is now a triple, which is one, four, six, and that sees four, six. This is one, this is a four, six pair. So this is a triple, which is one, two, three. So this is one, three, this is two, three, and this is one, two. This is a triple, which is one, three, six. So this is a three, this is a one, this is a six. The one makes this two and this three. These are one, two, three, four. These are five and six. So these are one and four. This is a pair, which is two and four. This triple is one, four, and six. So this is a four, six, which means this is a one. This is a triple, which is two, three, and six. And this is three and six. So this is a two, this is a three and a six, which means this is the four and this is the six and this is the four. This is a pair, which is two and five, which means this has to be the six. So this is a pair, which is two and three. And therefore, this is the three, this is the two, this is the four, this is the two. These are two, five, and six. So this is the two because it sees five and six. So this is five, this is two, this is six. This pair now is four and five. So one, two, this is three and six down here, which I could have got from the box. So four has to be up here. So this can't be the four because these are now three and four and the four can't be there because this is a four because of the pencil marks I did earlier. So this is three, this is four. So this is, oh, this in this column, this is three, this is five, which looks back making this four and this five, which looks back making this one and this four. This is six, this is three, this is six. These are one and two, and the two here looks up making this one and this two. These are one and five. I've got a one here making this five and this one, which makes this six and this five, which makes this three and this six. And that's the correct solution. That's a very cool puzzle. I like that one. That was a lot of fun. And I'm not going to explore the grey digits. 
um, you know, want to keep this video to a reasonable time. That was good fun. Thank you, Philip. I enjoyed Thor's Anvil. Thank you very much. And yeah, why am I signing off? There's one more video to do and I need to get it out in a rush because I'm recording this like an hour before I need to get the gas video out. See how I go. Okay, the final video in this series is from the 8th of February 2024 and it's called Foggy Thermo by Clover and it came with a poem, Fog by Carl Sandberg. The fog comes on little cat feet. It sits looking over harbour and city on silent haunches and then moves on. Uh, it's a fog with the rules and if you get a dinosaur today, you get a metaphorical mononychus. Okay, so rules of the puzzle. Normal Sudoku rules apply. Digits along thermos must increase from the round bulb to the tip. The grid is initially covered in fog, which will clear as you place digits. Note, each bulb is associated with exactly one thermo. Thermos never share bulbs. Okay, so let's give this puzzle a shot. So we know i'm going to use yellow because i often do this must go to there 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 now it said each thermometer must increase from grid is initially covered in fog each bulb is associated with exactly one thermo thermos never share bulbs so what i'm taking from that is they don't branch or hang on each bulb is associated with exactly one thermo so if you had something like that, does that mean that the bulb is associated with two thermos? Like thermos never share bulbs. Like normally this would be phrased as, you know, thermos, could, um, in a fog puzzle, you would say that thermos never branch. Or does it mean, I mean, it, it's clear that it can't do that, but is that one thermo or two thermos like i would take that to mean that you that's more than one thermo but you frequently see thermos doing this and is that two thermos or one thermo i'm not sure because this could be relevant for up here i suppose because could this be a bulb and it do something like that Is that one thermo or two thermos? Now, if it's clearly stated that thermos do not branch or cross each other, then that would be clear. But that could be one thermo. I'm going to take it to mean just a weird way because the standard wording of like I've literally done dozens of fog puzzles with this and the wording is always either with thermos or lines or something that the lines do not branch or cross each other or something like this. For some strange reason, there was a, some didn't want to use the standard wording. So I'm going to take it that because of this, the thermos cannot branch or or anything, even though that's not what it says, because that is a single thermo. There is one thermo coming out of the bulb. It's it's branching, but it doesn't say thermos cannot branch. So I'm going to take it the bulb is there or there. That's what the way I'm going to take it. Because if it this if this thermo, because I can't take the bulb into any of these cells and I can't do that, that wouldn't that doesn't make sense from the thermo because then this would form a loop and thermos can't form loops because they have to increase. So this is what it has to do. So one of these is the bulb, which means because it takes every other cell in the box, it either goes two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, or two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Either way, that's a five. Now the four here means this is six, seven, eight, and this is four, three, and two. Now that was correct, but I think the fact that it, for some strange reason, Clover decided to use non-standard wording makes it ambiguous. 
literally, we've been using this wording in fog puzzles for years, well, a year. Why change it now? So minimum four, minimum five, minimum eight, minimum nine. So this is nine and eight. This could be five or six or seven, and this could be four, five or six. Okay. One is in one of these two cells because I can't put one part way along a thermo. So this is one, two, three, four. This can't be one or two. So this is two or three, and this is one or two. One and two are both down here, which means this is a one, two pair. So this is three, two, and one, because I had to put three in this box and I couldn't put it in into, into any of those. And this is four, five, six, seven. Now this is a maximum four. So this is maximum three, this is maximum two. So this could not be one or two. So this is four. This is three. This is two. This is one. So these are from five, six, seven to complete the, the column. If this was five, this would need something lower than it. If this was seven, it would need something higher than it. So this has to be... Well, I can't put eight or nine there. So this is the eight, nine pair. And this goes five, six, seven. Five can't be in any of these cells. So this is the five and this is the four. And these are one, two, three, four, five. These are six and seven. Okay. It's had a really nice gas flow to it, apart from the fact that up here, I really feel just not using standard wording almost felt like a deliberate obfuscation of what was going on. So again, here we know this is doing this. I'm not sure. So this is a minimum of six. This is a minimum of seven. This is a minimum of nine. So this is nine, seven, and six. So the minimum here is three. Minimum here is four. Minimum here is five. The minimum, so this is six or eight. This is five or six or seven. This is four, five. Oh, no, it can't be seven. Five or six. So this is four or five. And this is three or four. But that needs a higher digit than it. But that... Now, the interesting thing is this. Now, it's saying bulbs are part of a, sing a single thermo again. But again, could this... Well, whether it does do that or not, it doesn't matter whether that goes elsewhere or not. Because this has a maximum of eight. This has a maximum of seven. This has a maximum of six. This has a maximum of three, but it also has a minimum of three because it can't be four, five, one, or two. So this is three. Now we know this is the way this goes, which means this is four, five, six, and eight. And I can take the digits out of here. So this now can't be four, five, so it is six. This has to be seven and eight because I can't take this as high as nine. The two, of course, made this one and this two. The six makes this seven and this six. These are four, five, and nine. I can't put nine partway along a thermo, so this is the nine. These are three, seven, and eight, but I can't, three is not lower than four or five. So this is seven, eight. This was five and four. The order was already determined. This is the three. These are the one and the two, but I can't put two partway along a thermo. The only thing lower than the two is the one. These are two and nine maximum here is eight then seven then five then three so this is one or three so it has to be higher it can't be two it could be three or five only so it's five because it can't be three this is now six or seven so it's seven this is now eight and this is one or three, and it's three, so this is one. 
These are four, five, and six. This can't be four, this can't be six. The five, six means this is the five, so this is the four, so this is the six. This has to be higher than six, so it's a five, so it's six or nine, and there's a six in the box. So this is two, three, and there's already a two in this column. This is two, three, and two. Now down here, one, two, three, four, five, and seven. If this is seven, it would go eight, and it can't because it'd have to go eight, nine, and I can, so this can't be seven. So and seven's not there because there's a seven in the row. That's the seven. These are one, three, six, and one and three are not higher. So this is six, and I take six out of those. The one makes this the three and this the one. These are now from seven, eight, nine without that being the nine and that being the seven. Uh, there's no seven in any of them. So that is eight and nine. This is a two. The eight looks across making that the nine and that the eight. The four, of course, made this the five and this the four. I could have used that earlier. And now I've just down to a single box. So this is resolvable by simple Sudoku. This is the one. The two is in one of those two, and it's there. The three is not in those or there or there. This is the three. Four is in one of those two. That's the four. Five is in one of those two, and that's the five. Six is not there or there. That's the six. This is not the eight, so this is the eight. These are seven and nine, and the nine looks down, making that the seven and that the nine. So 1,367 people have solved this puzzle. The only thing confusing about this puzzle, beautiful intro fog thermo puzzle, absolutely stunning. Why change wording that has been used by people setting fog puzzles? Like, early on, there was some a lot of discussion. I remember being part of a lot of discussion with phenomenal fog puzzle setters where there was just a lot of discussion about how we make it that fog rules were clear about what they were going to be because you can't see constraints. There was a lot of discussion about how we make it clear. And this is ignoring all of that. It's, it's just confusing to me. Anyway, there's been a new gas leak. So if you go the, below the video, there will be a link to the gas homepage um, and there'll be a new gas um, gas leak, which I assume is going to have a whole bunch of special gas leak puzzles, which are by the gas setters, which are harder puzzles that never were released as gas. Um, and it includes, I assume, all of the gas puzzles probably from January will be there. Um, so that'll be a PDF that you can download of that. I'm assuming that's posted to the homepage. It was posted to the discussion forum. Um, yeah. These these were fun puzzles. I'm, I've just recorded two in a row um, because I am recording under massive time constraints. These were a lot of fun. I really enjoyed this set of puzzles. This was good. Um, but I'm just very confused by the wording on this. Yeah, very confused. Oh, well, that's the way it goes. Thanks, everyone, for watching. And as always, good luck with your solving.